Hey guys, this is uh, Chris with Silver Cove, and I one one thing I wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and really relay to you guys is the differences between real trilobites and fake trilobites because there's an awful lot of them on the market. And I find rule of thumb when you're going to a rock shop, if you look at a trilobite that's this big and they want twenty dollars for it, there's your first red flag. Uh, real trilobites, well, yay big, can cost you anywhere upwards to anywhere from about eight hundred to about fourteen hundred dollars for a real one. Um, this one I purchased at a, rock, at a mineral show in the U.S., knowing full well it was fake. Um, and what I did was is I sliced it right in half to show you what it is they do to fake them. So if you look here, this is actually an air pocket from the putty. The entire trilobite is actually made of putty. The rock is real, but this is entirely fake. And what they did was is they took a little tiny piece of a, of a real trilobite. You can see the matrix lines. So as a fossil hound you're looking at the detail right and if you look here you, that's actually part of a real trilobite the rock is real and this is all fake the whole body is fake you can actually see the drip marks inside of there now what I'm going to show you here is the rock itself the ro don't look at the rock the rock will not tell you what you need to know just by basically looking at it because the, the fake ones use the original matrix rock from the actual formation near Airfoot. When they're wet, see this one's actually drying and peeling off of the matrix because it, I've had this one for so long. I wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to show you a real one. This guy is from Airfoot and he is a 100% or sorry 99.999% original. Okay and one good way that you can tell is if you flip it over and you look at the matrix you can tell that he's actually been glued back together. Do you see all the, the fractures? Those fractures are glue lines and that's actually a good thing. That tells you that, see when they find these trilobites what they do is, is they take the rock and they, and they break the rock open and it's in a big quarry. And when they break open the rock they look for the trilobites. When they find them they glue the trilobite back together and then they prep down to them using an air scribe. Now if you do that you can actually get right down to where the trilobite actually is when you glue them back together because you can actually see where he is in the rock, right? And then what they do is they use a little bit of citric acid, or not citric, used, uh, hydrochloric acid and a little eyedropper and they'll drop a little bit onto the surface of the trilobite which actually eats away the fine layer of limestone that's left on the trilobite that gives you that nice sheen. This guy here is a beautiful example of an authentic Moroccan trilobite and this one here is an example of a dubious street vendor trying to sell you a knockoff and there you go boys and girls. Very common to see these pill bottle trilobites uh, show up in rock shops if they're priced around that 40, 50, 75, 80 dollar range in the big trilobites like this. There's no way they're real because not even the real guys that do the real fossil prep sell them for that when you're buying them off the guys in their homes right next to the machines where they prep them. I know, been there, done that. That's a legit one right there. And that's 300 for that one, which is actually a crazy price. That's worth about 600 now. But, anyways, yeah, I just figured I would give you a little bit of shtick, a little spiel. Um, oh, another good thing, let me show you this. I forgot to tell you this. When you're looking at a, at a synthetic trilobite or which you're not sure if it's synthetic, look for air pockets on the actual shell itself because the uh, putty has air pockets. Do you see the air pockets? And on the surface of the trilobites you can actually find air pockets. This one has quite a few air pockets. You can see them in there. It actually broke right there. But Anyways, I'll quit my rambling. Thanks guys.